Go into the house of the Lord. <clears throat> to our guest musician. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's been a moment since those ivories have been tickled like that. Amen. God for each and every one of you here today. And, uh, I'm just glad to be in the service one more time. It has been, I guess for all of us, I got the reports coming around the church from different situations that have arisen. Challenges in the home and challenges on the job and Challenges in the body. Come on. Yes. All right. Challenges all around. All right. all right. But if you remember, yes. of course, I've never claimed to be a prophet okay. and probably never will. Mm -hmm. But I warned you yes. that when you start giving God authentic worship, Amen. Amen. Satan would attack. Yes. Oh, oh y'all didn't hear me, Amen. did you? Yes. You remember back. He, yeah. It's all documented. They tape everything. Amen. But you should take heed to what is said. Yes. And don't think it odd when it comes to you. Amen. Right. When it comes inside your house. Yes. Right. When it touches your heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't think it odd. Yes. Just know that it's coming for a reason. Yes. Just to get you off a little bit. Yes. Just right. to cause you to hold up a little bit. Amen. He calls you to doubt a little bit. That's what it's for. He don't mess with the ones he already got. I wish I had a witness. He don't mess with the ones he already got. Amen. But he will come for those who have purpose in their hearts to serve God. And who have started to do that. So we're praying for you, brother. God bless you. We're praying for you out there in the reports and ask that you pray for me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because uh, we're doing God's work. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's unfolding. Yeah. Amen. You don't see it all because it's not for you to see all. God doesn't let you know all. all right. But I give you a little, little something. Yeah. All right. We had building fund meeting. What was that, Thursday night? Tuesday night. Yes. There's five of us. The new building fund members that are there. I won't call them out except I'll say that Sister uh, Watts is the chairman of that committee. Mm -hmm. They discussed many things. I got there late. But I, I, I caught on to some of it. Amen. All right. But the significant thing with four people out of five, four thousand dollars was pledged for next year. Amen. Amen. Now it becomes more significant because that's what that was not what the meeting was for. Amen. You understand? That to, we didn't come for that. Nobody had that idea. But in the process of dealing with God's business. Yeah. The spirit of thanksgiving and wanting to bless Amen. took center stage. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. You're doing something right. And God honors that. So let's continue to praise him in spirit and in truth. Don't be deterred. Our message today, don't be deterred about what you see or what comes. Amen. Let us bow in a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we love you, we praise you, we thank you for allowing us to be here today. Uh, Lord, I truly thank you. Uh, if it had not been, <laughs> oh 
Lord. I wouldn't be here today. But you, you alone are able. So, Lord, we stand before you with a bowed head and a humble heart, just asking that your Holy Spirit would come and speak to your people. For it's a holiday season, but every day with you, you know, and every Sunday when we assemble ourselves, we want to hear from you. So, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For thou art my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Give me out some praise. Hey, I'm... Amen. We did have the first Bible study out Wednesday under the tents. I mean Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and we had a wonderful time. Started started slow, but they kept coming, and they kept coming, and so we we're, we're going to be sort of like a like a rodeo cowboy, we want to get, get as many under them tits and outside as possible. Amen. And the young man who's not here today, I heard him say that he was coming Sunday. Yes. Uh -huh. I went over and congratulated him, said, you're a man of your word. Yes. He said he's a Mississippian. Yes. I said, well, you be at home around here. <laughs> well, we got a few. Yes. So amen. We're glad that each and every one it is a festive holiday season. It took us a while. We ran into traffic unexpectedly coming down Kessler. I couldn't figure that out. Mm -hmm. All the traffic was going, going west, but how they were bogged up on top of the overpass that would take us this way. But uh, we were able to, I think, Destiny kind of looked at me when I got out of the car. He said, what is he going to do? <laughs> I just wanted to see what was going on. Uh -huh. We always want to see what's, what's holding things up. But, uh, I couldn't see, and then we got down there, we saw all these police, I mean, all these state troopers. I said, these guys don't know how to direct traffic. But my concern was getting here to the church on time. That's all I was interested in. I care about the 500 and care about anybody. I just wanted to get to God's house. Amen. And so we were able to get here. We were at a day of celebration, a weekend of celebration, but we take time. Because there's no greater celebration for those who follow the Lord than to come to his house. We give him praise, amen, and the reverence that he alone deserves. Yes. We will ask that you take your Bibles and move briefly to the front of the Old Testament. You get to the 14th chapter of Exodus. Move to the 10th verse. For those who can, let's stand for the reading of God's word. When you have it, say amen. amen. Share it if you, if, you, if you need to. Amen. It's a joint worship experience. This is not my experience. It's all of our experience. Amen. It reads as follows. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the, Israel, the Egyptians marched after them. So they were very afraid. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt so with us to bring us out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we told you in Egypt, saying, let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Right. Stand still yeah. and All see right. the salvation of the All Lord, right. which he will accomplish for yes. you today. Yes. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. May you be seated. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and reading of his holy and most righteous word. We want to use for a thought today. When your back is against the wall. When your back is against the wall. Amen. And this passage of scripture is familiar to us in a lot of ways. And over the years, it, the, just the sheer dra dramatic thought of what took place. 
of course, if you've seen the Ten Commandments before, yes, I think Charleston Heston played Moses. Yes. And that was always a very awesome, awesome physical, you know, thought. Uh, even though you have historians and you have scholars that question not just this, but other things uh, regarding the great miracles and works of God in the Bible. We as Christians realize that you have spiritual history and you have uh, what you might call uh, cultural history or academic history and other. Those deal with proof. They want to proof. But uh, we lean on our spiritual history because we know spiritual things are never interpreted by secular beings, by secular institutions. You're going to pray with me, aren't you? I ain't going to tarry long, but we want to lay the foundation briefly to understand what we're getting ready to review because when we go there and we start to put a spiritual perspective on it, it should give us strength and courage. We don't come here just to be cute or to be seen. We don't come here just to give money and, 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 and just sing, but we come here to hear from God. And we have to use a Bible that is uh, uh, what you would call ancient in terms of history, but and it dealt with ancient and historical events, but Amen. when we bring it to the present, the present, out of those situations and those teachings, we find they are still relevant today. All right. And the only way that could be is because it was divine yeah. intervention in the design of the Bible Amen. and the messages that still will speak to mankind until Jesus comes back. Right. I wish I had a witness. So just know that, that yes. amen, as we move through here, that it is not uh, just for uh, the idea of sharing information or highlighting, but there is spiritual meaning in what we deal with Amen. Sunday after Sunday Amen. after Sunday. Amen. This event is one that is well documented in the Bible and references made to it quite a bit about the fact that the Egyptians who had been released from Egypt well. and slavery and bondage, mm -hmm. uh, you know most of you the story how in the evolution of that, Moses was sent to Pharaoh. Yes, sir. And Moses told Pharaoh. But Pharaoh had a very hard heart about it. All right. You can't go to kings and just tell them what to do. Right. Now, you can tell them what God told you, but if they don't believe in God, All right. you understand, they won't go along with the program. Yeah. So we understand the 10 plagues were sent ultimately till the king's son was killed, as yes, the firstborn. Lord. The last. He spoke it. That's come. you have to be careful what you say. Come on. Yes, now, you can say what you want out there, but when it comes to God's business, be careful what you say. All right. Because God's listening to everything. Yes. And you can speak up things that will come back against you. Not I wish I had a witness. Amen. That's why murmuring has never been one of the things you want. The Bible shows us repeatedly what the children of Israel get the murmuring. Amen. And you saw the results of that. Oh, yeah. Amen. So what happened was uh, the king, the pharaoh, said, hey, y'all get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. He was so distraught and so hurt and upset. Well. And, and he'd been beat down ten times. <clears throat> the kingdom was in shambles. His son was dead. He said, y'all go. go Not only go take what you, what you want, just wow. get out of here. Yeah. And we know, some of us know how, that, how we can feel about that. Oh, yeah. Amen. But what happened? They did exactly what they said. But he said, Moses, and they went on about their business. All right. All right. And they were camped at the Red Sea, but Satan stirs things up. Yes, sir. Sometimes when you have one round with him and you come victorious, come on, you think you're going to get a vacation. All right. All right. You, you think you're going to get a pass. You're going to think your senior status qualifies you for a break. I wish I had a witness. You're going to think that you're too educated, right. that that's a bunch of mess. You understand? You ain't going to go for it, but guess what? He's just setting you up to knock you down. Amen. 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 Stirred Pharaoh's heart. Yes. Yes. Pharaoh looked around and called for his army, called for his horsemen and his chariots, yes. uh -huh. called for everybody, the yes. butchers, yes. said, we're going back, and we're going to get our slaves back. Wow. And they're going to find out that I'm Pharaoh of Egypt. Yes. <clears throat> now, that's interesting because the Lord had brought them out. Yes. After yes. hearing their cry, yes. he had brought them out, and they were camped by the Red Sea. Come on. It don't take long to hear something coming sometime when it's not what you want. All right. 
when you start talking about thousands of horsemen and chariots My. and soldiers, yeah. you know that's coming. Amen. And as soon as they got a glimpse of that, they started complaining. Yeah. And you heard what they said in the scripture. Yeah. They said, man, listen, it was better to you. Come on. Better. Come better for on. us if you had left Come us on. back Come as on. slaves. Hey. Now stop and think for a minute. When they were collecting all that gold and yeah. silver, yeah. and they was walking out pretty good, yeah. they would say, boy, this is a good deal. Yeah. But the first sign of trouble, sign of and they turn on Moses yeah. and say, hey, God, so listen, what is this? Say, it's better you let us die back here. It's better we stay slaves than we get out of here in this world. And we're human nature, if you want to call it. But hey, that's how people can be. People with no faith and no relationship. Soon as it gets ugly, amen. Now, the dynamic of this was such, you have to keep in mind, the Red Sea was behind them. And Pharaoh's army was in front of them. And there was no side escape. Come on. One way in and one way out based on the geography. Yes, sir. Now, I did a little study and looked at some of the maps that I had because I wanted to get clear about the Red Sea. Come on. You understand? The Red Sea is not Eagle Creek. You understand? The Red Creek is not Geist Reservoir. Yes. Amen. The Red Sea is a pretty big body of water. Yes. Okay, you understand? So you ain't going to hop in and swim across. Amen. You're talking about great length and depth. Yes. That, that You might need a submarine to get down where it is. I wish you had a witness. So they knew they were in a bad situation. If we prefer their back was against the wall. And it didn't appear that there was no way out. And it didn't look good. Amen. And now for a moment, let's contemplate. How many times has your back been against the wall? And for yet to come, how many more times? Amen. If you get a report from the doctor that something is terminal, yes, right, that's a good one to say your back is Amen. against the wall. Yeah. Amen. If you get a notice that your job is over oh. and there's, there's, on, there's no compensation, right. all your years have gone in, but you're going to have to hit the road, Jack. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's your back is against the wall. Oh. Yes, you got all those bills that's going to yeah. be coming. Yeah. If you get in a situation where your kids just won't act right, on, even yeah. though it, the world is before them, and you love them and you stood by them and you tried to be patient with them yes, yes, yes. and you forgiven them for all the foolishness that they, yes. boy, it seems like your back is against yes, the wall because yes. they're on the fringes of doing something crazy. Preach. I wish I had a witness. Preach. There are a lot of circumstances yes. that can get you where you feel that there's no way out. All right. Now, you have to watch those because that's when Satan draws not. Yes. You understand? Because when you start giving up, when you start to lose your faith, uh, you know, when you start to doubt in God right. and what he's going to do. I wish I had a witness. Right. Hey, Amen. You get despondent. Jesus. You get discouraged. Yes. You get depressed. Yes. And in some cases, some folks commit suicide. I wish I had a witness. That's what happens sometimes when folks is back. When they perceive that their back is against the wall. The children of Israel, most of them, of course, they've been in Egypt so long. They didn't have a real intimate relationship with God. All right. Some of the elders might, yeah, man. Some of the priests, some of the others, but they, they've been become kind of Egyptian in Come their on. manner. Right. You understand? If you stay in Rome too long, right. you become Romanish. Right. You've been born and raised in America, you become capitalist. I wish I had a witness. And after a while, you may call yourself a Christian, but you act like a consuming capitalist. Y'all didn't catch that, did you? I wish I had a witness. Amen. And so that's what happened. Uh -huh. And that's where they were, uh, back against the wall. Back, back Amen. The wall. Couldn't go forward, couldn't go backwards, started to complain, but they had forgot. Come on. They had forgot that forgot. God was on their side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They forgot there's a song that the Lord will make a way. Yeah. I wish yeah. They forgot that there's a song that said, just a little talk with Jesus. All right. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody, they forgot. That if you trust and never die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I wish I had a witness. Say, so he'll surely bring you out. Yeah. People forget that when they get so comfortable with the world. Come on. That's why we come by each week so we can sharpen each other. Amen. That we can praise and worship oh, together hallelujah. and reaffirm yeah. that there's a God that yeah. looks after his own. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. According to scripture, God spoke to Moses and said, get up there. Right. And he told him, look what he read. Just to go back over that. 
because right. this is strong wordage. Yes. Verse 13, and Moses said to the people, All right. do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Stand right. still. Yes. That follows last week's message. He says, stand. Thank I God. wish I had a witness. Yes. And see the salvation of the Lord. All right. See the Lord work it out. Because mm -hmm. yeah. see what the, how the Lord works it out, that really ain't none of my business. All right. I can't figure out yes. the God of all gods. Yes controls the universe, yes. that can deal with the molecule, I wish I had a witness, that can change things, yes. that are soft or hard, that can make the seasons do what they do, keep the sun in its place, yes. make sure the, the orbiting planets go around far enough. I don't know all that. I didn't major in chemistry, and I didn't major in science, I didn't major in biology, I just know there's a God that can fix anything because he fixed this world. Somebody said he holds the whole world in the palm of his hand. I wish I had a witness. That's the God that told him. Told Moses to tell him. He said, today, you have to keep in mind what happened. They were set free because he said they would be free. Pharaoh decided to change the plan. You can't change God's plan. Yeah. I don't care how mad you get, how much money you got, yeah. how big your army is. Right. When God speaks it, that's it. Yeah. And so God decided. So I done had enough of this Pharaoh. Yeah. He didn't got on my nerves. He said, he's coming. But y'all stand still. So after this day, you won't see no more. You won't see the horsemen. You won't see the chariot. You won't see the soldiers after this day. Opened up the Red Sea, caused the wind to blow, dried the land, opened up a highway to go across the mighty Red Sea. They walked across, according to scripture, on dry land. Now you know it gets wet down there, but the Bible says it was dry land. And you know how fools are. Fools rush in where wise men arose. They rushed on in to the Red Sea. And according to scripture, the Lord allowed the mighty Red Sea to come on in and drown them all. All of them. Not one escaped. God's true to his word. He said, y'all free. Ain't nothing going to bother you. Don't you know? All Pharaoh could do is look back and go back without an army. But word spread. So don't mess with them Jews. Amen. No matter what Satan puts against you, don't worry about it. You just stand and see the power of God. Amen. He'll make a way. Oh, won't he do it? He'll heal your body. Touch your finances. Work with your kids. Work on your job. Just wait on the Lord. Be of good cheer. In due season. God will make a way. I looked at it this way. Your back is against the wall. God's got your back. He tells you to turn around so he can face what your problems are. And when he solves your problems, you're ready to go. Cross the Red Sea. What am I saying, church? God has showed him. The main thing that he showed him was that his power could not be challenged. After 10 plagues, Pharaoh still was foolish. But after that day, the word spread. I guess Pharaoh said, I don't ever, ever want to see a Jew again. I don't ever want to see these children of the king because their God is too strong. You know, somewhere in the Bible tells us some kings, after taking them, they say, your God is my God. Amen, because your God is too powerful. That's the same God that serves us today. You're going to have your challenges. Weeping may endure for a night. But when you know Jesus as your Savior, when you know the power that's with God, he may not tell you, but he's got a plan. And he's going to work that plan out for you. All you do is step back in faith. See, the crowd didn't have the faith, but Moses had the faith. Moses was obedient and those who were around him. And God will do, sometimes to bless the few, he'll bless the many. Amen. That's what God will do. Amen. In your household, everybody, everybody may not be walking with God, but guess what? But because you are there and they're yours, God will extend his blessings 
and his coverage to all that's in your house. That's a better plan than any insurance company could give you. I wish I had a, that's why he says the prayers of the righteous avail as much. You can't be righteous unless you're talking to God. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Amen. And you're connected. That's how you're going to get the answers. Amen. Amen. Yeah. When your back is against the wall, yeah. just know the situation is not done. Yeah. It's not a done deal. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And tell the Lord. To the Lord. They say it so. Amen. God bless you. God has been good. Well, last night I had to do a funeral Friday for a dear friend that left. Big funeral here Thursday. Last night. I turned to my wife, I said, hey. I said, what do you think? I said, you think I can, I can do it? I should have called in something. And she just said, hey, rest a while. All right, I'm on. Not at all. Yeah. She made a suggestion and said, rest a while. Rest. Yeah. See what tomorrow brings. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. Sometimes we got to rest a while. Yeah. Lord, I don't need 24 hours. Yeah. We need the 24 hours. All right. Yeah. All right. But God doesn't need the 24 hours. Mm -hmm. That rest. Yeah. Rest in him. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Somebody wrote a song and said, what a difference a day makes. Yeah. <laughs> well, with God, boy, that's everything, isn't it? Amen. And we thank God that yeah. he gave us the strength to be here today. Celebrate God's Bless goodness today. Lord, this time the doors of the church are open. Might be somebody here who doesn't know the Lord who is not a part of a church family. I want you to know that God is able. His arms are always out for you. We are loving church because we love God. Amen. If there's one today, is there one today? Say that. In the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh.